Hundreds of people across the metro celebrated the Juneteenth holiday today. It commemorates the true end of slavery in the United States. More than 250,000 slaves in Texas finally heard the news of the Emancipation Proclamation more than two years after its signing. 41 Action News reporter Gian Kim has a closer look at how Kansas Cityans are paying tribute. This year's Juneteenth celebration feels extra special for a lot of people here in the metro. President Biden signed legislation this week making Juneteenth a federal holiday. We need to say sorry for the wrongs of slavery. That's number one. For George Williams, there's still a long road ahead to freedom. Now, I think what you don't know can enslave you, and that was what happened in Texas with the 250,000 slaves they just didn't know. He hopes now his country would educate the next generations to do better. Those that are in power, you share history kind of from your perspective. Once we learn and we're free from that ignorance, um, uh, we, we find some real experiences of freedom. Jay Holbert is the president of Johnson County NAACP. He says real change won't come unless attitudes change from the top. You always have this resistance. That's what we're working against. Holbert tells me many minorities are still struggling to break the glass ceiling centuries later. Once you reach that ceiling, you're out of luck. Hey, how you doing? Across town at 18th and Vine District is another celebration. Martin Luther King, I'm thinking about Frederick Douglass, I'm thinking about Feminine Hammer. Hammer. Just so many. Jeanette and Rhonda are remembering the names of those who came before. It puts this week's recognition of the Juneteenth holiday into perspective. It's also an acknowledgement of the federal government that we did have slavery in America because that doesn't always come out. And for Kevin Thompson, he hopes the fight of the black community can one day be a shared vision. It took a lot for us to get here um, and we fought very hard to get here and we want as black people to continue to fight for equality and I want all of America to have that same fight. People in the black community tell me they feel seen and heard today after generations of pain. In Kansas City, I'm Jian Kim, 41 Action News.